Welcome to AI with Win. Jensen Huang, the CEO of NVIDIA, delivered an outstanding presentation recently in Taiwan, discussing the latest developments at NVIDIA. Here are the most intriguing highlights from this conference. But before diving in, let's take a moment to listen to this short clip where he explains the essence of AI. GPT came along and, um, and something is very important in this slide. Here, let me show you something. This slide, okay, and this slide. The fundamental difference is this. Until ChatGPT revealed it to the world, AI was all about perception, natural language understanding, computer vision, speech recognition. It's all about perception and detection. Many fail to fully comprehend the magnitude of Jensen's concept of an AI factory. The scale he refers to is truly staggering. It's worth taking a moment to really listen and understand. However, for the first time, ChatGPT introduced the world to generative AI. It wasn't just perceiving, it was creating. This marked a fundamental shift. It started generating tokens one by one, and those tokens could be words, images, charts, tables, songs, or even videos. They could represent anything meaningful, from chemicals to proteins, genes, or even weather patterns as we saw in Earth 2. Instead of just filtering data, it was generating new data. This method allowed us to generate tokens for almost anything valuable. From steering wheel controls for cars to articulation for robotic arms, anything learnable could now be generated. We've transitioned from the AI era to the generative AI era. But what's truly significant is this. The computer, once a supercomputer, has evolved into a data center solely dedicated to producing tokens, an AI factory. This computer that started out as a supercomputer has now evolved into a data center and it produces one thing. It produces tokens. It's an AI factory. This AI factory is generating, creating, producing something of great value, a new commodity. In the late 1890s, Nikola Tesla invented an AC generator. We invented an AI generator. The AC generator generated electrons. NVIDIA's AI generator generates tokens. Both of these things have large market opportunities. It's completely fungible in almost every industry. We've established a groundbreaking new factory, generating invaluable commodities for every sector. The methodology behind this is both scalable and repeatable, evident from the rapid invention of various AI models, particularly generative ones, occurring practically daily. Industries across the board are seizing this opportunity. For the first time, the $3 trillion IT industry is on the brink of producing something directly applicable to a $100 trillion market. It's not merely about information storage or data processing anymore. It's about generating intelligence for every sector. Many of the visuals might resemble animations or cartoons, but they're products of generative AI, shaping the future of industries. What exactly is generative AI, and how will it revolutionize various sectors? This marks the blueprint for how we'll embrace this transformative opportunity. These are incredibly exciting times, signaling a reboot of the computer industry, a domain you've pioneered and built. Now, you're poised for the next significant leap, but before we delve deeper, it's crucial to recognize that NVIDIA resides at the confluence of computer graphics, simulations, and artificial intelligence. It's ingrained in our essence. Today, what I'm about to share with you is a simulation. It's mathematics, it's science, it's computer science, and it's incredible computer architecture. None of it is animated, and it's all crafted by hand. Meet NVIDIA Soul. We've poured all of this into a virtual world we call Omniverse. Next, let's talk about NIMS. I believe this is a bigger deal than we might realize, akin to how Microsoft transformed the computer industry with prepackaged software. NIMS are poised to revolutionize our perception of AI and AI agents. While the name may evolve, the core concept remains. 
think of the transformative impact Microsoft's software packaging had on the PC industry. Without packaged software, what would PCs be used for? It's akin to a new era in computing, with NIMS leading the charge. NIMS, short for NVIDIA Inference Microservices, represent a new breed of software designed to run on cutting-edge hardware. Picture a factory where these NIMS operate as pre-trained AI models. These AIs are incredibly intricate, operating within complex computing stacks. Just like the layers beneath ChatGPT, they rely on vast amounts of software and computing power, distributed across multiple GPUs. This complex system optimizes throughput, a critical factor for any operation, as it directly impacts revenue, service quality, and user accessibility. Data center throughput is now more crucial than ever, with every parameter meticulously measured. It's like running a factory where every operation affects the company's bottom line. Understanding the complexity involved, we've created AI in a Box, a container housing a comprehensive stack of software, including CUDA, CAN, Tensors, and Triton for inference services. Cloud-native and easily scalable, it simplifies AI deployment and management, ensuring seamless integration with Kubernetes environments. Accessible to anyone with CUDA-enabled hardware, this AI container encompasses everything needed to interact with AI models effortlessly. With 400 integrated dependencies, it's a self-contained solution. We rigorously tested NIMS across various hardware configurations to ensure compatibility and performance. We offer a range of pre-trained models tailored for different domains, from language and vision-based tasks to healthcare and digital biology. One standout is the Llama 3 NIM, now optimized and available on Hugging Face for free. Whether in the cloud or on-premises, NIMS can be deployed anywhere, empowering businesses to provide advanced AI services. One significant application lies in customer service agents, crucial across industries and representing trillions in service interactions globally. By connecting NIM microservices, companies can build powerful customer service solutions, among many other possibilities. In various ways, some individuals, whether they're nurses or customer service representatives, fulfill roles that don't involve prescription or diagnostics. Essentially, they act as frontline customer support, serving industries like retail, financial services, insurance, and countless others. Today, the power of language models in AI is enhancing these roles. Imagine these roles as NIMS. Some are tasked with problem solving and planning, others with information retrieval or search operations. There's also a growing interest in digital humans. NVIDIA's digital human technology is a prime example. They offer engaging, empathetic interactions, bridging the gap between AI and humans. NVIDIA's chips even venture into quantum computing simulation, solving complex optimization problems previously thought to require quantum computing. NVIDIA's Quantum is a quantum computer emulator, enabling quantum algorithm design and development. This challenges the notion of reality. We're now closer to simulating our own realities, raising questions about higher realities. By reducing computing costs, NVIDIA believes innovation will flourish, unlocking new algorithms and possibilities. One day, a significant event occurred, a phase shift, where the marginal cost of computing plummeted so low that it paved the way for a new era in computer usage. Indeed, that's the trend we're witnessing now. Over the years, we've relentlessly driven down the marginal cost of computing. Imagine the concept of creating a digital twin of Earth, an idea that seemed far-fetched until now. This digital twin could simulate our planet, helping us predict future scenarios, understand climate change impacts better, and adapt accordingly. It's one of the most ambitious projects humanities has ever embarked upon, and each year we take significant strides forward. This year, we've made remarkable breakthroughs. More and more discussions in the AI community revolve around concepts like synthetic data and self-play. The notion that AI can improve itself, generate data to train itself, this is the dawn of self-improving AI. We've empowered transformers to train on immensely large data sets. Initially, data required human supervision and labeling to train AI systems. However, there's a limit to how much data humans can label. Transformers change this by enabling unsupervised learning. They can now analyze vast amounts of data, whether it's images, videos, or any other form. The next leap in AI development involves grounding it in physical understanding. 
Most current AI lacks this understanding of the laws of physics, which is crucial for generating images, videos, and 3D graphics realistically. To achieve this, AI needs to learn from various sources, including video data, synthetic simulations, and collaborative learning among computers. This mirrors the concept of self-play, where AI systems learn and improve by interacting with each other. As AI begins to generate synthetic data and utilizes reinforcement learning, the pace of data generation accelerates. With each advancement in data generation, computational power must keep up. Dr. Jim Fan from NVIDIA once remarked that automation and intelligence will pervade everything that moves, driven by AI systems. Looking ahead, the next frontier is physical AI, systems that comprehend the laws of physics and can seamlessly interact with the world. These AI models must possess cognitive capabilities to understand human input and perform tasks effectively. Robotics will play a significant role in this future, not just in humanoid form, but across all sectors. Factories will become automated and orchestrated by robots, manufacturing robotic products through interactions among robotic entities. Thanks for watching.